How are you all little friends? Today we are here with a new video for you. In today's video, we will learn about cattle and wildlife. So without further delay, let's get started. Rooster. An adult male chicken is called a rooster. And an adult female is called a hen. Roosters are larger, usually more brightly colored, and have larger combs on top of their heads compared to hens. Hen. A female chicken is called a hen. Chicken. The chicken is a domesticated species that arose from the red jungle fowl originally from India. They have also partially hybridized with other wild species of jungle fowl. Canvas back. The canvas back is a species of diving duck, the largest found in North America. The duck's common name is based on early European inhabitants of North America's assertion that its back was a canvas-like color. Bull. A bull is an intact adult male of the species Bos taurus. Cattle. More muscular and aggressive than the females of the same species bulls have long been in. Sheep, also known as domestic sheep. Scientific name, Ovis aries, are a type of domesticated mammal that are commonly raised as livestock. Adult females are called ewes. Intact males are referred to as rams or occasionally tups, and young sheep are called lambs. Horse. The horse is a domesticated, one-toed, hoofed mammal. Horses can sleep both standing up and lying down, with younger horses tending to sleep. The goat or domestic goat Capra Hercus is a domesticated species of goat antelope typically kept as livestock. It was domesticated from the wild goat of Southwest Asia and Eastern Europe. The giraffe is a large hoofed mammal found in Africa, belonging to the genus Giraffa. It holds the title of being the tallest terrestrial animal and the largest ruminant on Earth. Kangaroos are large-footed marsupials that belong to the family Macropodidae. There are four main species of kangaroos, the red kangaroo, antilopine kangaroo, eastern grey kangaroo, and western grey kangaroo. They are native to Australia and New Guinea. Elephants are the largest land animals on Earth. There are three known species, the African bush elephant, the African forest elephant, and the Asian elephant. These are the only remaining members of the Elephantidae family and Proboscidea order. Their extinct relatives include mammoths and mastodons. The Arctic wolf, scientifically known as Canis lupus arctos, is a subspecies of the gray wolf that is specifically found in the high Arctic tundra regions of Canada's Queen Elizabeth Islands. It is also commonly referred to as the white wolf or polar wolf. The leopard, also known as Panthera pardus, 
is one of the five species that belong to the Panthera genus. Its fur ranges from pale yellowish to dark golden, with dark spots arranged in reset patterns. Currently, there are eight recognized subspecies of leopards that can be found in Africa and Asia, primarily hunting ungulates, hooved animals, and primates. Their spotted fur serves as camouflage allowing them to stalk and surprise their prey. In some cases, leopards even drag their prey up into trees for safekeeping or consumption. Tiger. The tiger is the largest living cat and a member of the genus Panthera. It is most easily recognized by its dark vertical stripes on its orange fur with a white underside. Tiger cubs stay with their mother for about two years, then become independent. Moose. The moose, known as elk or elks in Eurasia and moose in North America, is the only species in the Alsa's genus. It is the largest and heaviest deer species alive today. Most adult male moose have distinctively broad, palmate antlers. Foxes are small to medium-sized mammals that belong to various genera of the Canidae family. They are omnivorous and possess a flattened skull, a bright triangular ears a pointed snout that slightly curves upwards, and a long, bushy tail. Foxes can be found on all continents except Antarctica. Zebras are African equines, with unique black and white striped coats subgenus Hippotigris. The Grevy's zebra equis grevy, plains zebra equis quagga, and mountain zebra equis zebra are the three surviving species zebras, horses, and asses all belong to the genus equis. And the three are the only living members of the family Equidae. The lion, scientifically known as Panthera leo, is a large feline belonging to the Panthera genus. It is mainly found in Africa and India. Lions have a well-built, muscular body with a broad chest, rounded head, round ears, and a tuft of hair at the tip of their tails. Male lions are typically larger than females. Bears are carnivorous animals in the Ursidae family. They are classed as caniforms, or carnivorans that look like dogs. Although just eight species of bears are known to exist, bears can be found in North America, South America, and Eurasia. The hippopotamus, also known as hippo, is a large semi-aquatic mammal that can be found in sub-Saharan Africa. There are two extant species in the family Hippopotamidae. It is the third largest land mammal after elephants and rhinoceros and the largest land, Artiodactyl. A rhinoceros. Nose horned, rhinoceros or rhinoceroses is any of the five extant species or numerous extinct species of odd toed ungulates in the family Rhinocerotidae. It can also refer to any of the extinct species of the superfamily Rhinoceratoidea. The elk, also known as Wapiti, is a member of the deer family Cervidae. It is one of the largest land mammals in North America, Central Asia, and East Asia, and is considered to be one of the largest species within its family. Panda. 
The giant panda, sometimes called a panda bear, or simply panda, is a bear species endemic to China. It is characterized by its bold black and white coat and rotund body. The name giant panda is sometimes used to distinguish it from the red panda. That's all for today, my friends. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. See you soon. Bye.